Hello, back again with a, another video showing you how to convert 30 FPS video to 60 FPS. But this time we're going to be using Adobe Premiere. I'll uh, just start it up. Uh, Adobe Premiere. This is uh, one of the easiest methods to use, but as we all know, Adobe Premiere isn't cheap. So for me, I would still stick with me GUI or hybrid, but this is an option if you want to try it. So I'll go uh, new project. You can just click OK and then yes. Let it open. Right, the thing you want to do now, up on the top left, you want to click on file, and then new, and you want a new sequence. And the thing you want to do, you want to make this sequence 60 FPS. I'll just close that. The one you want to use, or the one I use, is AVC HD. If you click on it, then in the drop down, you've got AVC HD 1080p 60 frames a second. So you can uh, double click on it and it will open up a 60 FPS sequence, which we've got there. Right, all you want to do now, you can either drag and drop your 30 FPS video in. So where my videos, I'll just minimize that. And you can just drag it into the timeline. Just click on the background. You'll get this window pop up. The thing you wanna do, you wanna keep existing settings. So you have a 30 FPS video in a 60 FPS sequence. So just click keep existing settings. And there's your video. Right, all you need to do, left click on the video, which is the top one. So it's highlighted. And then right click and you will see time interpolation. And you'll get these three options come up and the one you want is optical flow so i just left click on that and the thing you'll see here is a red bar so that means it's not been rendered so all you want to do is click enter and you'll get this box uh, come up and it will start rendering it which can take a little while because say uh, my video is round about just under around about the three minute mark and it's going to take uh, around about seven minutes roughly but it's still going up so it could take about seven to eight minutes maybe a little bit more but the thing I'll do I'll fast forward through this bit and come back when it's finished right that's all done now all we need to do now is save the video so up on the top left where you got file in the drop down you want export and then media the thing you can do you can just save it and just tick the box where it says match sequence settings or if you want to where it says format AVI you can change that to say H.264 uh, match source high bitrate there are other settings you can use and if you scroll right down to the bottom there is one for YouTube but it doesn't really matter because uh, once you've uploaded it to YouTube, uh, they will convert it to a format they like. Right down the bottom there, you've got 1080p HD. You can use that if you want to. But what I normally do, I just normally match sequence settings. So I just tick that box. And the thing I would use as well is maximum render qual uh, quality. Can't say that word. Tick that box. You get a slightly bit uh, better picture quality. Uh, output name. If you tick there on the seat where it says sequence, you can pick where you want to save it to, and plus you can rename it. So I'll just give, name it one, and then you click save so I can find it. And then all you want to do down the bottom is click export. Uh, it's telling me just over eight minutes to save the file. The thing I'll do, I'll fast forward through this bit and uh, get uh, be back in a minute. Right, that's everything done. I'll just close down Adobe Premiere and uh, show you the uh, converted video. Uh, just click no, I don't want to say project. And it's uh, one. And uh, this is the uh, converted video. But the thing is, to my eyes, I still think 
medial or hybrid they're a little bit smoother but it's uh, not too bad with Adobe Premiere the thing I'll do I'll let it run for a bit so you can uh, see it running at 60 FPS So as uh, always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.